In this lecture, we are going to talk about all the new features in Canva 2.0 for creating awesome presentations. Look at this dude. All right, the first big new feature in Canva 2.0 has to do with presentations. It might not be very obvious for those of you using the app and not understanding the full context about what's going on within Canva regarding presentations. And for this regard and for shedding more light on what is really going on in the company in terms of company's culture and company's vision of where Canva is going in terms of presentation. I did a little bit of research and I found out on the Canva blog. So this is the canva.com slash press um, section of their website. They have this little article right here. Canva acquires Sydney-based interactive presentation startup Zetings. So I clicked on this blog post and I learned a little bit more about what was going on. So here we can see the CEO of Zetings and the CEO of Canva, Melanie Perkins. And they announced in this blog post that Canva was acquiring this three-year-old startup also based in Sydney where Canva has their headquarters. So these two companies will be working together on creating the future of presentations. That's what they state in their article. The CEO of Canva, Melanie Perkins, said uh, during the acquisition that they will deliver a full suite of rich interactive experiences to power the future of presentations and put an end to death by PowerPoint. So there is a clear intention right here to change and disrupt the, the PowerPoint industry, like PowerPoint is a software that's been, that has been used for over 25 years and it has become the norm in the industry up to a couple of years ago where different alternatives to PowerPoint started to emerge. And now we have a different kind of panorama of existing solutions to present your slides or to create presentations. And Canva is willing to enter this sphere enter this arena, I would say, and disrupt it by combining the power of their app, of what you can already do with Canva, and add more features so that people won't need any other software or any other platform to create and, and showcase their presentation. So that's, that's the little bit of a context um, behind these new features in Canva 2.0. Let me close these tabs and go back to Canva. Uh, so this is Canva 2.0. What's new basically is two things. One thing is this publish button. Hey, do you want to learn how to use Canva like a pro? Well, I can certainly help you with that and teach you all of my secrets. I have put together a five hour master course about Canva that will take you from zero to Picasso in only one day. If you like that idea, make sure you click on the first link in the description below to get your discounted coupon. So the first thing is presentation, as I said. So it means that you can basically, I'm just going to fill um, my pages here with this template. So that's not very important. The content is not so important here. I want to show you how this works. So let's say I have a presentation of five pages and I want to export this. So now Canva gives you the option to play this presentation directly from your computer, from Canva. You don't need to export this into slides and then use these slides into, uh, I don't know, like a PowerPoint or Google Slides. You can directly present from your computer. So you can plug your computer to a smart TV or to a screen or projector, anything like that with HDMI or even with the older cable there's no problem. You can present directly from your computer. And for this, you can just use the first option right here that says present. Once we are here, we are presented with a couple of options. The first option you're presented with is the transition style. You can choose between different styles of transitions to go from one slide to the other. And that's pretty cool uh, because it adds some motion to your presentation. It makes it less uh, static, I would say. So you have simple transition, which is just going from one page to the other. You have fade. See this slide fading to the next slide. All right. Then we have title, which is kind of like the rectangle. Your slide becomes smaller and then slides to the left. We have circle. 
which appears that the, the elements are deleted and then swiped. And then we have slide, just sliding to the left. We have rise, rises up from the bottom, and then we have wipe. with nice little wipe transition. So these are uh, seven different transitions. It's pretty nice, it gives you a bunch of different options and it adds life and motion to your, uh, to your presentations. Next, we have timing. So what is the timing? Standard click to change slide. So the, basically this gives you control over the pace of your presentation. So if you click uh, the first option, standard click to change slide, you will have to use your mouse or use a clicker to change to the next slide. You can also set it on autoplay. Then you will have an additional box right here with the number of seconds per slide. So you can control the pace of your presentation. Additionally, yes, you have one more option, which is autoplay looping. And this is a very nice option for different kinds of businesses and different kinds of uses because autoplay basically transforms your Canva presentation into a billboard. So that means you can um, put this on looping and then it will just repeat the same loop of slides and that could be very useful for um, shops, for example, if you want to connect a computer to a, to a TV in your shop and, and just uh, play something in a loop, like a message or a very nice explanation about a specific product, you can create these presentations, set them on autoplay and they will just play all day long on your TV. So that's pretty cool. I can also straight away see interesting uh, applications here for um, events venues. For example, let's say you are organizing a big event in, in a fancy hotel, then you can have at the reception near the registration desk, you could have a TV also connected with the program of the event. Uh, just on autoplay. So people who come to register to your event could see a bunch of interesting information on that TV. So this autoplay looping uh, function could have a lot of different applications and I think it's a very nice upgrade. Another very interesting feature about presentation that I want to show you is the presenter view. So if you are in the standard kind of presentation, click to change slide, it doesn't work under the two other modes, autoplay or autoplay looping, but in the standard mode, you can enter presenter view or you can tick or untick this box. If you tick it, this is what's happening. You have a main window right here, which shows you all your slides, the current slide, and then uh, all the slides of your presentation. And then you have a standalone window with the current slide that is being uh, presented. So this gives us the option to avoid going slide by slide, like one, two, three, four, five, but I can, if I wish, skip directly to slide number four. For example, I click here, and then you can see in my standalone window, I'm, I have skipped to slide number four. I believe in the future, we will have more options coming to this presenter view, and this is um, a communication, an official communication from Canva that was given to the beta users to explain what are all the different uh, new features in Canva. So I found out uh, Canva launches presenter view with notes. So this will give us the option in this presenter view right here to add some notes, some speaker notes that won't be showing on the presentation window, the standalone window, but will be showing here. So I could be standing in front of the crowd with my computer or my tablet and see these presenter notes while I'm just giving my presentation. So that's pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to this as someone who gives presentations on a regular basis. And then there is one more very interesting um, feature that is also coming out soon for presentation is the possibility to embed different kinds of media in your presentation like YouTube video, GIFs, tweets, Facebook posts, Spotify songs, and more. Okay, so let's assume you are giving your presentation, you are in the midst of the action, you are in front of your audience, and everything goes well, you're using Canva, you're presenting with the new features, that's perfect. But what if you could send your audience to a specific website that contains your presentation? In other words, having a very simple manner to share your presentation with your audience. Well, Canva 2.0, 
is making this a reality with one last feature I want to show you. And this is under the publish button. And you have to scroll down, not in the present button, but you continue scrolling down to the website section. And folks, we will cover all the feature in this website, publish as a website section in a future lesson. But for now, because we are talking about presentations, I wanted to show you this one specific feature related to presentation. So here under web style, you have to decide which kind of website you wish to publish. So you have classic navigation, scrolling, presentation, and standard. Presentation is the one we want to look at right now. So let's click on that. If you come here, you will be prompted to choose just as before the style of transition you want for your uh, presentation. Let's say you want some wipes and then just click on the button open website and then you will see that your presentation is now available on a website with a specific URL. And if I go from one slide to the next, you can see that the URL is actually changing. So each slide has its own URL. So if you want to share this presentation with your people, with your audience, you just copy this, the first slide's URL. And then let me show you opening a new window here, copying this URL. And voila, your presentation is now accessible to anybody with this URL. You can customize this URL. You can use Bitly, for example, or Google to shorten that URL, even give it um, a specific name if you wish. So this option is very powerful. It really empowers people giving presentation. Why did I show you this blog post at the beginning of this section? To make you understand that Canva is really moving in big way in the arena of presentations. They want to disrupt this industry. That's why they acquired Zittings and you, we can expect some more cool features in the future coming straight into Canva uh, in terms of presentations. So this is very important. This is a major update in Canva 2.0 and I think we are just touching the tip of the iceberg here and more features are going to come very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the little bell right there so you will have a notification every time I upload a new video. And that's it for me today, guys. I wish you a very creative day.